In the past, I've been known to rush the final stages of a guitar build just so that I can see it finished and, as a result of that, haven't been very, very happy with that result. In this case, though, I owe you an apology. I, I've, I've been putting off working on Nebula. It's been summer holidays and I've spent some time with the family and, and avoided the workshop as much as possible. I tidied the workshop. I tidied the workshop a little bit. Burn it. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! I commissioned a stunning custom pickup from the workshops of Crimson Guitars, and uh, we are going to install and fix the inlay and, and make a custom bridge and string her up and all of that good stuff. We'll see if I can actually wire... <laughs> Yeah, I think the pickup cavity is going to make uh, the wiring a little bit easier. Th this is going to be a good end to the journey. I am looking forward to the next builds as well. And But most importantly, I really want to see what happens with this guitar and how she comes together. So this isn't glued in yet. Up you can. There you go. I'm going to put glue inside these holes. Fine sand the nut. It's really important to round over the corners, the, the top corners of the nut. That's where your, your hand hits it. And uh, for the player, well, we don't want them to be uncomfortable in any way, shape or form. That's a little tall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sand that down from the base. Nice and easy. Forever I've been using a dab of super glue to glue the nut in and it works very well. In fact, it's super. Shout at me in the comments. It's very strong and uh, that's not necessarily what, what we want. The strings actually hold the nut down. If you need glue, then you, you know, the nut doesn't fit properly. Uh, I saw somebody, I'm not sure who, on YouTube or Instagram or something like that, using shellac, just a drop of shellac. And I really like that. It still holds it in place when you're changing the strings and all of that jazz, but it's much, much easier to knock the nut out when and if you ever need to. So shellac it is. Bridge. I'm going to leave the design at this stage. I'm aware that that curve is, is too much. The whole idea is to have it relatively simple. We'll let that percolate and we'll play with this. This pickup, I am so, so excited by this pickup. And uh, yeah, if you want one, give us a shout, crimsonguitars.com. This is uh, obviously the mini humbucker and uh, multi-scale version. We're going to be doing a full-size humbucker and standard scale soon. Very soon actually because uh, I want to put a set in my Scion. Should we cut a hole? <laughs> I would be lying if I said that this wasn't a little bit nerve-wracking. This is the template that uh, they made me at Crimson. I don't want 
to have a pickup surround. So I'm going to adjust it to cut the, uh, the ears off. And I'm also not going to be using a router. I don't think I'm going to be using a router. I think I'm just going to do this by hand, but I want to use this to mark it off. So, well, let's see. I don't need to change the template if I'm just doing it by hand. Do I? No. I do need to cut with it. Fripple is. So I need to check what these uh, do in relation to where the strings are going to go. Yeah. I like it. I'm happy with that. Now, if I did this with a router, I would be just being myself. So I'm not going to. I, I just, uh, I'm going to drill out the four corners by hand and then very carefully um, use a scalpel blade and a tiny little saw, a uh, little Japanese saw, for cutting acoustic guitar string positions and stuff like that. So the masking tape is helping keep it from chipping out, as is the fact that I've got a very, very nice drill bit here. I got these through uh, Workshop Heaven. I'm 99% certain that there is nothing underneath this top. Uh, it has been a while, but if I recall correctly, I designed this so that I would be able to cut in a pickup at some point. What I'm not sure about though, is how deep the neck is uh, on the top. I think I've gone over the edge of it, but if a router bit catches on that unexpectedly, I just don't want to, I don't want to do it. So I'm not gonna, so there we go. test. Always test these things out first. There is a little slot that I've cut in, well, an off cut. <sighs> I'm starting off using a fret slot cleaning saw from well, crimsonguitars.com, of course. There are very, very few tools that only have a single use. And uh, if you are persistent. Even those could be expanded upon. So the scalpel cut is protecting the finish. I think I'm going to be even more cautious, just in case I slip. Let's put some masking tape on the outside of that cut. And we're using the pull side here. I'm starting to think, <laughs> I can't even talk. I'm starting to think that maybe, maybe routing it would have been less scary. Um, Definitely over quicker. 
Nope, pull all the way. So I can carry on with, with that, or with the aforementioned acoustic guitar micro saw. Success. Okay. Only three more cuts to go. Do you know what would have been easier? Laser cutter. I actually probably could have put this, the whole guitar as is on a laser cutter and just cut through. Lacquer might have messed that up. No, I'm not sure. Don't try this at home. Or do, I mean, this is a little bit of a rush, I, I'm not afraid to say. Am I going into the neck? Don't know. Oh. Nope. Ha <laughs> ha. Whew. I think the end of the neck is there. No, it's not. No, we're good. Okay. No pressure. It's a tiny little bit of lacquer just chipped off there. I'll save that. I think that is the only casualty. <sighs> Perfect. Okay, so the question is, how do I fix this uh, little bit of lacquer? And the answer is, of course, we had a dab of super glue. Really? Uh, I've got the lacquer that fell off though, so it's going to be fairly, fairly easy. Uh, Starbond, medium gap filling, thick gap filler. Okay, so what I'm after here is an unnaturally tight, basically perfect fit, if at all possible. I'm gonna finish fixing the uh, lacquer chip out. This has been curing for a while now, so let's fix this up.
there we go. Now I'm going to ease up the drill size in half mil increments uh, now that I'm absolutely certain it is where it needs to be. I'm not going to install the pickup now, there's no point in doing this thing twice. So uh, I'm going to make a bridge, do all of the wiring and all of that jazz and then we'll install the pickup and strings and we'll have a guitar eventually. First of all, Scale length, string height, bridge, chaos. Yeah, I got me angles wrong. Okay. And here we are. I am much happier with this. What do you think of that bridge, everybody? I mean, by the time you're watching this, it's been done and dusted, and if I'm gonna change my mind, I would have done it. But, oh, 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 oh. okay, okay, all right, fine, fine, fine. Get on with it, Ben. I hear you yell. I shall. Okay, now this is a quite non-traditional instrument. It's kind of an acoustic guitar, it's kind of not, but uh, what it certainly isn't is large bodied, and I want a fairly warm tone out of it. Now the bridge, all along I've thought or been thinking, hey, maple. No, not maple. I've been thinking, hey, ebony or, or rosewood or something like that, but in actual fact, how about multicolored flamed maple? It's softer, it'll give a slightly warmer tone, and on top of that, it's pretty. Anyway, let's see what we're working with. I think 14 millimeters. Strung height 14, straight off the frets about 11 or so. What I'm hoping is that the flame lines are gonna match up with the straight lines on the pick up here. So sort of at that angle. I've got room. I do have room. Aha! You'll notice that there's no height adjustment. That will come later. I'm not being totally insane. I'm not sure I'm qualified to say that, actually. Now that I have the width and position and all that, I can put my masking tape on the outside. That's my curve, very gentle. Very close.
Okay. I think we're there. The existing cut keeps the scalpel in the right place. And without much pressure, you just go deeper and deeper and deeper. Yes, if I had uh, a nice rectangular blank to start with, I could have put it over a table saw. Uh, I could have used a router and uh, an eighth of an inch cutter, all of that jazz. But it's just as easy doing these things by hand sometimes, if not quicker. I appear to have changed my mind. That never happens. Hmm. Fire or stain? Burn it. Of course. Light, thank you. It's going for a light, a light scorching. Never hurt anyone, did it? <laughs> so I've got a built in texture here and heavy flame uh, figuring, <laughs> heavy figuring. I love Shizuki Bun. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Of course, I did a little test before off camera. I'm not 100% daft, just like 99.99% .99 recurring. And I'm just going to finish with a quick coat of wipe on guitar finishing lacquer, which goes quickly. Who needs ebony? What I do need though is a piezo pickup inside. So that is the next stage. That is so cool. Do you know what? I'm running out of time. I'm, I'm, I'm. <sighs> this was supposed to be the end of this build. I don't know if it will be. Uh, okay, obviously that saddle is much, much higher than it needs to be, like emphatically humongous. And, uh, and that's cool, uh, because it's going to be cut down quite a lot. So at this stage, I still need to 
put in the piezo, cut down the saddle, shape it, intonate it, figure out where the whole bridge is going, install the pickup and the insanity that is the wiring. We're going to have a blend pot, so a single pot with a center detent and uh, a, a jack going straight out of the uh, bottom uh, and acting as a strap button too. Yes, I did just forget what a strap button is called. Woohoo. Um, these things always take longer. Uh, I thought that uh, making this bridge was going to take me, you know, maybe two hours. And it has not been maybe two hours. And we're still nowhere near finished, actually. Anyhow, please let me know in the comments below what you think of this finish. Uh, what you think of the, uh, of the bridge. This is a, a very rustic uh, kind of textured finish against the high gloss. And... I've obviously gone for a much squarer, flatter kind of a feel. Remember, we have got these beauteous things, and it's all planes and angles. Uh, that hair looks a bit dusty. But we're there. Who saw my schoolboy era? I, I stopped, I did the outro, I said, look, we're done. Uh, and uh, then I thought to myself, no, I need to tell you what I did wrong. Uh, it's, it's simple. Fire, move, wood. It flattened the bridge out. After spending all that time matching the radius and getting that absolutely perfect, I am now having to redo all that work. Uh, this morning, I, there was some scratches in the, in the lacquer, so I took the guitar to Crimson off camera and had it rebuffed, which means the lacquer on the top is now soft, and I don't want to go through that process. It's just, it's basically, it's just been buffed, so it's relatively softer than it, than it should be, and I don't want to mess around with it for a couple of days if I don't have to. So here we are, we're done. Click like, subscribe, let me know in the comments what an idiot I am, and most importantly, I will see you next week for the final episode in the Nebula series. There will still be a super Reddit. There will still be more builds like this. If you want this guitar, if, not this guitar, Ben Morgan has got this guitar. If you want a guitar built like this, uh, I am going to be putting this into production. Uh, I just have to. It is, it is what it is. See you soon. Goodbye. Ay, ay, ay. I suck. <laughs>